it's so it's nice. different, it's different again, isn't it? Yeah. It's not the best, is it? No, because it's like it's not coming back up enough. No, really. it's not. Hi, it's not as good as we want it to be. So I think we need to go to the theatre and we'll deliver your baby by cesarean section. If that's okay with you. Gone. We have the symptom Reef. off. Reef. Just get him out. That's all that matters. Come on. Stop. Come on. You've done all this hard work and now they're gonna get him out for you now. Hi. That's the most important thing. That's so. the most important thing is you want these baby. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Go on. I'm sorry, it's not worked out quite as you want, darling. We on, do need fine. to go straight away. I'm with, I'm with yeah. you all the way, OK? Go on, you'll be fine. So, it can be a bit of a long... Could be here for a while. You could be here for a while, love, but <laughs> I'll look after you. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. When I found out I was pregnant, it was just like, what am I going to do? How am I going to afford it? How am I going to cope? I don't do well with no sleep. So when did you find out you were pregnant? How far gone was I? I think I was like six weeks. Oh, so quite early on, really. <laughs> and how did you break the news? Well, he's not the dad to the baby. Yeah. So I was more scared telling him than my mum. Oh, bless you. I know. Well, well you seem to have took it really well, love. Yeah, just get on with it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and when she first found out, we'd only been together two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> So, it was a bit of a shock. This was a massive thing for Reeve to tell me, and it did scare me. Oh, OK. For a split second, I did think about just legging it. But then I thought, no, you've, you've chosen to stick with, to be with Reeve. You're going to stick by her. It's not going to hurt, is it? It may be a little bit uncomfortable. I don't have a pain threshold. I just cry at anything. I cry if I stub my toe. <laughs> I'm just going to put this gel in now, love, OK? Yep. I was generally thinking Kieran was going to leave me. I was thinking the worst. But when he said he was going to stick by me, I had s I've got so much respect for him. So much. It just made me love him more, or fall for him more. I never felt that I was trapped into being in a relationship with Reeve because she said to herself, you know, if if at any point you feel you don't want to do this, you can go. I'm glad I didn't take any decision to go because the bond that we've got, it's just amazing. Hi. Oh, can, I, can I call you back? Your mum. I'm mum. Pleased to meet you. I'm Nicola. Hi, yeah. Did you make it up here OK, then? Well, no, we got lost a few times. <laughs> I always do things like that, don't worry. <laughs> Are you OK? No. It hurts. Yes, it does hurt. Do you know what, love? I was even just talking to one of my colleagues about you. I think you're doing great. I was saying, my daughter's 16, and she can barely put a pack lunch together. <laughs> Honestly. Really, she has done really well. She has. You're doing fantastic. Yeah. You've had to grow quick, haven't you? Yeah, and you know what? Done it? She comes across a lot more mature and no. sensible. You'll be fine. You'll be marvellous. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what excited me. <laughs> my mum means the world to me. She is just my rock, my right arm. It's scary how much I can't... I wouldn't be able to do anything without her. Do you know how lucky you are to have a baby? He's going to be, oh, my God. <sighs> He's driving no pain for nothing. All you need to do is concentrate on that baby now. And you two, that's it, nothing else. Nothing else is finished. Aims at the door. I found out my mum had cancer the same time I found I was having a baby. <laughs> it's quite weird timing. She didn't actually tell me. My older sister told me that. She said it. She's 16 years old. She's just finished having a baby. She could no longer be a child. She's had to suddenly become an adult in every way. I'll tidy up. Yeah. Go on, then. It's hard for anybody. Do you know, it's, it's, it's hard for a sister, but at her age, I think, on top of the pregnancy, it just didn't help. Very, I'd always had very, very long hair, anyway. Every time I brushed it, there was more hair coming out, and it was like... That was more upsetting. I just them tears drip down my face, I just thought, he tear, what the hell are you crying about? I'm very good for giving myself a kick up the bomb. Weeks and weeks later, <laughs> I was in the shower and I'd done this, across my face, and I was like, there's hair. Oh no, my eyebrows have come off. <laughs> I'll top that up with some more oh, hot water, you. love. So you're really excited? I can't wait. It's been a tough year for the family. It, it has been really hard on her because no, nobody wants your daughter pregnant at 16. You don't. And I said, she's 16, so what? She hasn't murdered anybody. No, she, she hasn't. Tweeted hasn't. It. Do you know what I mean? There's worse things than that can happen in Jesus life. Jesus Christ. I think I'd found the lump 
like two days before she told me she was pregnant. So it was sort of all this thing in one go. It was like, ah. Oh. And they knew it was possibly a good chance it was cancer. But we didn't tell Reese straight away. I just said, I've got a problem with my bowels. <laughs> <laughs> but she was marvellous. We sat down and told her, and she was really good. She under tears, like we all were. Yeah. But she was really good. Give yourself some credit, though. You've done amazing. It's a lot, yeah. it's a lot to deal with. But I think at the end, I'm still here. Of course you are. Do you know I mean? And that does yeah. me. I just think, you know what? Even when it's really freaking bad, at least I'm still here to have a go. I think you're an inspirational woman. I really do. You're great. Yeah, you just get on. And with she's it. lucky. Yeah. She's so lucky. Yeah. I'll top this up oh, for you, love. You. Okay. He times Daffy Reeve pregnancy. He come up just the right time, because otherwise her house would have just been full of cancer visits, chemo, radiation, and goes into the scar one. New little life. How can I not be in labour with these pains? Relax, babe. I know you're in pain. But you need to relax. Yeah. I can't do it. Babe, you can't. You've come this far. I suppose I fell in love with Reeve because she's just so caring. Uh, if I've had a bad day in work, she'll always be there to try and put a smile on my face, even though I can be the grumpiest person in the world after work sometimes. She's always trying to cheer me up, and being with Reeve feels right. Mm, not believe me, are you? No. Going nowhere. No promise. Promise. I, I built this bond with Reeve and the baby. I feel like I'm, I'm the dad, even though I'm not biologically the dad, because I've been there since before the first scan, and I, I just feel like he's my son. Slow breaths. Deep, nice, slow, deep breaths, babe. OK. At the 20-week scan, I found out the baby had heart problems. His arteries are in the wrong place and his chambers need dividing, so it wasn't looking good for him at the time. So did you have any tests to see if there was any associated problems? No. So we're not quite sure whether there's anything else going on with the baby yet? No. OK. And she said to Reeve, this baby's really poor, he's got, he's got his heart problem, you know, and he could be... He's going to have other things wrong with him as well. Um, we think he needs to look about termination. And a scale of one to a ten, he was nine and a half. It's been really poorly. So what they told you about the surgery afterwards? Wait until he's a certain weight, or...? No, just when he's three weeks old. Until he's three weeks old? Because they said then about termination, and she said, no, I can't. She, at the end of the day, he's my little boy, and I can feel him moving, I can feel him kicking. I'm not terminating. If he dies while he's in me, I've done the best I could. But while he's carrying on, I'm going to carry on. And she just suddenly, in that moment, grow up very quickly. Hello there. I'm Katie, I'm the midwife looking after Reeve, OK? This is Dr Sharp. Hello, Reeve. So just having a bit of an issue with baby's um, monitoring just after you've been examined, so... Baby's heart rate is still doing this pattern of um, going down for a while, coming back up for a little bit and then going down again. Yeah. Um, it's happening quite a lot. What I think we will do, if it's OK with you, is we'll do a quick Scratch test now to see how happy baby is. Just try to relax. So it's different, it's different again, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the best, is it? No, because it's like it's not coming back up enough. No, really. it's not. Hi, it's not as good as we want it to be. So I think we need to go to the theatre and we'll deliver your baby by cesarean section. If that's okay with you. Go on. We have the symptom Reeve. off. Reeve, it's just get him out. It's all that matters. Come on. Come on. You've done all this hard work, and they're going to get made for you now. Hey? That's the most important thing. That's that... the most important thing is you want this baby. Yeah. Let's go. Go on. I'm sorry, it's not worked out quite as we want, darling. We do need to go straight away. I'm with, I'm I'm with yeah. you all the way, OK? Go on, you'll be fine. We'll stay with you the whole time, OK? The bonds from the baby have changed ever so slightly. So we can get This down. baby's safety is so important. With everything we've gone through as a family, with the cancer, baby's illness. We just really need him to pull through his all. Probably me more than anybody. Cos I keep thinking, if he can fight on, I can fight on. So, Reeve, all the paediatric team are here for a baby, OK? Yeah. They'll be sorting their own stuff out of the back there for when baby's born, OK? Where's Kieran? He's outside in the little room. He'll be in in a minute. 
You just listen to me and Clint, the doctor, OK? I'll get you through this. I'm terrified. First few seconds are huge for me because I don't know what's going to happen or anything. The doctors say they're not sure what's going to happen. As soon as he's born, he could be taken straight off me. I would love to hold him straight away. With the baby not being well, I think it's going to make it more precious because you don't know what's going to happen. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, That's it, baby. Come on, say hello. Oh, just wait a moment. He's, he's here. Beautiful. The worst case scenario is there's something wrong with the baby. When he's born, he <gasps> might not be breathing. He could be distressed. He could be a funny colour. It could be anything. Mummy, yeah. Yeah. so you just top baby around to stabilise him, okay? Yeah. We'll keep you updated with how he's doing. Got a baby. Yeah. So he's doing absolutely fine. When he was born, he came out in really good condition. He was doing really well. Just over the last couple of hours, he's just struggled to breathe a little bit, so the girls have just had to ventilate him. Can I touch him? Is Mummy OK to have a little touch? Yeah? I'm glad you want to go in the other side. There you go. He's not mine, but he is mine. Because I've been there through the whole thing. He's gone through so much and, you know, 20 weeks to be told we're not going to have a baby. And then for him to get as far as he has is just mind-blowing to me. I don't know how he's done it. I just think it's the best thing in the world. Oh, my God, just look at him. Couldn't he be beautiful? You've done well there, Reeve. No longer just stop your teenager, you know, mother. <laughs> It was worth it. It's worth everything. Exactly. We're not out of the woods when he's born. With the baby's heart defect, he's got to go for a surgery a lot in his life. Not just when he's born, he's got to go for it when he's like two, and then five, and then when he's an adult. So it's a lot of surgery for him, but you've got to do what's best by them.